President Mohamed Buhari has said that Fulani headsmen armed with sophisticated weapons to kill people in agrarian community are not from Nigeria. The president disclosed that Fulani people look identical and have similar culture. This makes it difficult for people to differentiate them. Buhari, while speaking during a Rice TV program monitored by Sahara reporters on Thursday, also said he cannot deny being a Fulani. He however insisted that Nigerian herders only bear sticks and matches to cut grass for their cattle. The problem is trying to understand the culture of cattle rearers. There is a culture of the Fulanis. So the government of Benue said, I am not disciplining the cattle rearers because I am one of them. I cannot refuse to say I am not one of them, but he is being very unfair to me and I told him that the Nigerian cattle rearers are not carrying anything more than a stick, sometimes a machete to cut trees and give to animals. But those with sophisticated weapons, with AK-47, they are the Sahel areas. That is where they came from. They are Fulani people from Mauritania, Central Republic of Africa. They look the same, so they would think they are Nigerians. But I assure you, we are trying to resuscitate these cattle roots, grazing areas, and make them accountable, Buhari said. What is your thought about this that has been said by the President of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, that he cannot deny the fact that he is a Fulani? According to what the President have said earlier in the news, that the Fulani headsmen armed with sophisticated weapons to kill people in agrarian communities are not from Nigeria. He said these people, they are from Sahel. The Fulanis have you know, similar cultures, even the one from Sahel and the one you know, in Nigeria, they have similar culture. So when you see them, you think these people are Nigerians, of which they are not from Nigeria, they are from Sahel. What is your thought about this? Do you think that is the true fact about this present situation? What is your thought about this? We would like you to drop your thoughts on what the president has said. Don't forget that the president disclosed that Fulani people look identical and have similar culture, which makes it difficult for people to differentiate them. What is your thought about this? We would like you to drop your thoughts and reaction on what has been said. I'd like to see your own you know, point of view concerning this present situation. But before we go, let's see people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning this present situation. Dova Nehemiah reacted to this and said, but why is Miyati Allah and Northern Elders always defending them and supporting their evil acts as repressor and also avengement? So if you can't secure your border against foreigners, allow the people to defend themselves against them because the army is supporting and aiding their attacks. What is your thought about what Dova Nehemiah have said? What is your reaction to this? He said, you know, if you cannot secure your border against foreigners, allow the people to defend themselves against them. How will you say these, you know, Fulanis that are, you know, caught with sophisticated weapons and are terrorizing Nigeria are from Sahel and not from Nigeria? Then it shows that you cannot secure your border against foreigners. According to what Dova Nehemiah have said, if you cannot secure your border against foreigners, allow the people to defend themselves against them because the army is supporting and aiding their attacks. What is your thought about this? I'd like you to drop your own thought on what has been said. Let's move forward and see what other people's reactions is on what we have heard. Chuku the Unwabuku also reacted to this and said, Who gave the order to open the border for them? Until we tell ourselves the truth, progress will continue to you know, be elusive. You imported them to help you wage war. If you lose election, then it backfired but you could not you know label them terrorists while they are the one you know killing our people in nigeria may god judge you the rulers what is your thought about this we have heard what chukudi have said about this current situation that these people that you know the president has referred to as you know the fulanis from sahel he said he imported them you know to wage war for him if he loses election but everything later backfired that is why you could not label them terrorists. What is really happening in Nigeria? How true is the word has been said? How do these people enter into Nigeria? Where did they pass through? Who opened the border for them? Who ordered the border to be open for them to come in? What is really happening in Nigeria? 
in this nigeria nobody is to be trusted again even the citizens do not you know trust their leaders again because these leaders are frustrating the efforts of the citizens what is your thought about this we would like you to drop your reaction to this well let's move forward and see what other people reactions is on what has been said michael bowman jonah also reacted to this and said this is really shameful dreadfully shameful the president had to say this Today, they claim headsmen are Nigerians and have the right to live anywhere in the country. Then you hear them say headsmen are foreigners. This assures that they don't even have a clue of what is going on. This is really blank. I can imagine the hands, you know, in this country. So many things are happening in this country. You tag some people, you know, headsmen. You tag some people foreigners. You say these people, these same people that you refer to as foreigners, these same people you say they are Nigerians. What is really going on in Nigeria? Later, anything, any small thing happens, you tag IPOB as the unknown gunman. Any small thing, you tag, you know, Eastern Security Network as the, you know, the perpetrator. How sure are we? How true is this? How do we, you know, confirm that these people are the real perpetrators of this you know atrocities that is going on in nigeria looking at what has been said by michael bowen he said this is really shameful it is dreadfully shameful the president had to say this today they claim headsmen are nigerians you know then you later hear them say headsmen you know are foreigners this assures that they don't even have a clue on what is happening. I can imagine the hands this country, you know, are placed upon. What is your thought about this? People are frustrated about the effort of Nigeria. People are really, really frustrated. People don't trust this government any longer. Things are not going the way it ought to be going in this country. I just hope that the Lord will just come into Nigeria and help Nigeria, you know, and vindicate Nigeria out of this, you know, great mess because it is really getting out of hands. We don't even know way to go about this present situation again what is your thought about this we would like you to drop your thought well let's move forward and see what other people reactions is on what has been said okubama michael reacted to this and said this is clearly one of the dumpest statements i have heard from our president you can block all borders from the Igbos not to leave but you can't block you know the same border for the alleged you know sahel Foreigners who have come into Nigeria, what is your thought about this? Things are really happening in Nigeria. This administration has kept on defending these atrocities, unprovoked attacks, maiming, raping, you know, burning and killing, you know, against our citizens in this country. These citizens that, you know, these leaders were elected to protect, you know, they will leave them to be raped, to be maimed, killed, you know, Different atrocities have been, you know, done against these people and yet these leaders are not doing anything about it. What is really happening in this country? We just hope that the Lord will just intervene because it is really frustrating. And even all these people that are causing these atrocities have not been, you know, none of them has been captured. Despite the federal government being in charge of all federal security agencies, not one of them have been captured, killed or, you know, arranged in the court for law. Only God knows what Nigeria is turning into. We would like you to drop your thought on what has been said. We have seen so many people have reacted, you know, they have reacted in their own perspective of which they are seeing this. They have reacted and they have shared their own point of view with us. We would like you also to, you know, share your thoughts with us on what has been said. We have had the president of Nigeria who have said that Fulani has their own culture. Fulanis, you know, are only seen with, you know, sticks, you know, and matches. That perhaps if they want to cut, you know, grasses for their, you know, cows and, you know, they want to cut down trees for their cows. That is the reason why they are using matches. Most times they use sticks. People that you see with sophisticated weapons, the Fulanese that you see with sophisticated weapons, they are not from Nigeria. They are from Sahel. How many did these people enter into Nigeria? How did they get in? Well, we'd like you to drop your thought on what has been said. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.